caught up in a moment like it's just us in this room. All the right words at the right time, and you know them, cause you know me better than anyone else. We don't need anyone else. There's a couple million people in the world, yeah. and a million other places we can be, but you're here with me. Take a moment just to take it in. Say hi, let me know. To the inside, I'm just so bad. to this day of celebration. It's great to have all of you here to witness the union of Allison and Elizabeth. And given their newfound celebrity, it was pretty hard to book them here today. <laughs> Luckily, I'm the president of the fan club, so we got it. <laughs> Together, we will share in the joys of their wedding, both with the outward celebration of this occasion and with an internal appreciation for the love that surrounds us. May you all remember and cherish this ceremony. For on this day, with love, we will forever bind Allison and Elizabeth together. Marriage is much more than a simple exchange of rings or combining of material possessions. 
It is finding your person who you feel as though you are truly at your best when you are with them. It is finding your person who you feel fully accepted, who fully accepts you for being yourself. It is finding your person who you would willingly bunker with to binge all of your favorite TV shows while being snowed in for months at a time. Although you may never know the exact pivot point that the one standing before you has met set criteria, but when you look them in the eye, you know your heart and life force has already made the decision to bind together for eternity. Marriage is one of life's greatest gifts, and it is an honor to make these promises with your person. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace together. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives, and despite any adversity, will always be there to sustain you. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you to face head on the challenges you'll encounter in this earth. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. Learn to work together, to laugh harder together, and to love one another even more. Now we'll like to have the exchange of vows. I'll invite uh, Allison to begin. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth, can you start? changing lives. 
I vow to always allow my best friend to be your best friend as well. <laughs> and most importantly, I vow to always be the newest and youngest Elizabeth Richards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Allison, your turn. You guys didn't know you're gonna be here for a few hours. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Many okay. I can't believe that ten years have already passed. It truly amazes me how much our lives have molded and grown together, and how two people can feel like one. Writing these vows this morning <laughs> made me realize that, <laughs> that the reason that we procrastinated with them is because we felt like we had to come up with something new to say to each other that we didn't already know. But it's really not the case. I don't have something new to say because we tell each other so often how we feel, what we're thinking, and where we're at mentally and emotionally. It's one of my favorite parts of us. I don't have to guess what you're thinking because I already know, and I don't have to question how you feel because I already know. You don't have to ask me where I'm at because I've probably already mentioned it once, twice, three times. But since all, all of these beautiful and incredible people came all this way to hear me say it, I'm gonna tell you again for good measure. It may be kind of long, but we know that I'm the writer in this duo, and I'll spare you the repetitive remarks that lie in our Christmas cards to each other. <laughs> you are, hands down, my greatest joy. <laughs> Even when you're not, you are. You make me feel like I'm the only person who makes sense to you. Can you read it? It's <laughs> 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 so good. <laughs> who makes sense to you in this chaotic and misunderstood world. You put me in a place in your life that assures me that I'm safe and I'm loved and I'm valued but not so high on a pedestal that you forget to value yourself. You know what you deserve out of life and you do everything that you can to secure it. It's one of the biggest areas in my life that you've helped me grow by giving me the confidence to know that I have value and my future is determined by my super soft hands, <laughs> even though that you say my grandmas are softer. <laughs> Our life is absolutely what we make of it. And I'd say that We've done a dang good job. I said dang, is that fine? <laughs> dang good job at creating a world that we are proud of and deserve, and we're just getting started. This is now intermission, if any needs to. <laughs> I wrote it in here. It's so funny. The last, <laughs> the last 10 years have felt like every year brings us something new, and no year has been the same. The tough times, the incredibly happy times, the understanding that we both have on communicating everything that we are hearing, it's truthfully our glue. Sharing is caring, and sometimes oversharing is daring, but here we are 10 years later. I have loved so many parts of you in the last decade that sometimes I wonder if I have any room left in this big heart of mine. I love how you have the ability to be incredibly logical. I don't even have to wonder how something should be done because you've already, you already have the best answer. And I love how you fix everything and so much that our Airbnb host should be paying us to stay. <laughs> I love how you love our babies and deep down bear. That's our, that's our cat, it is like way in our town. <laughs> and I love that you love Lily and Kipton and Ryan because they're my other greatest joys. Seeing you cry out of loving them so much just kills me. I love how spontaneous and adventurous you can be, although I think we all know what her version of living life on the edge is. <laughs> you are my biggest and cutest cheerleader and I could not think of a better human to call my wife. I also couldn't think of a better human to now share the name, same name as my <laughs> so cheers to us, this beautiful life we live, these beautiful people, this day, and the next decades of our lives together, and I love you way more than grapes. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and if you agree with all questions after I am done, simply reply, I do. Okay? 
<laughs> Elizabeth, do you take Allison to live together in the union of marriage? Do you take her as your best friend and partner in life to honor, to cherish, love her from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health for all of your days? I do. Okay, Allison, I'm gonna ask you the same series of questions. If you agree with all, then at the end, simply reply, I do. Allison, do you take Elizabeth to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health for all of your days? Thank you. I would now like to call for the rings. These rings are not simply for material value, but are a constant reminder of the commitment you two have made today. Elizabeth, would you like to place the ring on Allison and repeat after me? I, Elizabeth, give you Allison this ring as a symbol of my love. As I place it on your finger, I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I, I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I give all that I am and accept all that you are. Okay, Allison, grab this ring and place it on Elizabeth's finger and repeat after me. I, Allison, give you, Elizabeth, this ring as a symbol of my love. As I place it on your finger, I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I give all that I am and accept all that you are. Beautiful. All right, family and friends, by the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I am proud to pronounce Allison and Elizabeth as spouses for life. You may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, Mrs. and Mrs. Richards. Yeah. 